Welcome to Practicing the Practices, a learning and experiential podcast geared towards helping you apprentice with Jesus. My name is Brad, and I'll be your host and coach today. Recently, someone in my church approached me with tears in their eyes and a quivering voice and emotionally confessed, I'm just terrible at prayer. This person went on to describe how they had been a Christian for 20 years, but it never felt like they had any idea how to pray. Maybe you can relate. Prayer is at the center of our life with God, yet it can be one of the hardest, most elusive practices of discipleship. Today, we're going to the prayer book of the Bible for help. Well, here at Practicing the Practices, we want to learn about discipleship practices and then practice them, put them in to play in our lives. And we're going to do that today with prayer. And I'm so thankful that God, in his divine kindness, placed a prayer book right in the center of our Bibles. Uh, We call it the Psalter or the Psalms, and it's a collection of songs and poetry and prayers. Some people have called the Psalms the therapy book of the Bible because of the healing that comes through the psalmist's expression of their pain, their anguish, their anxiety, and even the doubts that they have. And they make those expressions, they make those prayers, and they sing those songs to God. Sometimes life throws a curveball at us. Trauma and tragedy can leave us grief-stricken and literally without words. Sometimes we go through seasons of life that are just confusing. Maybe you experience the darkness of depression or have bouts with anxiety, again, leaving you without words. And sometimes we're just so burdened by what's going on in the world around us, in our family, in the lives of our friends, that we, just like the Apostle Paul describes in Romans chapter 8, just don't even know how to pray. When we don't know how to pray, Or, when we don't know what to pray, the Psalms are a tremendous help. You can just pray the psalmist words to God or adopt the template that the psalmist uses. I think Psalm 143 is a great prayer template to adopt. It's a prayer of lament or a cry for help. It's one of David's prayers. Matter of fact, listen to David's bold prayer vulnerable confession in Psalm 143. He says these words, My spirit is weak within me. My heart is overcome with dismay. I am like parched land before you. My spirit fails. David is exhausted. He's been attacked, slandered, doubted, and just about everything else you and I could imagine. He's weary. Can you relate? I mean, I certainly can. Well, David's honest confession, his expression of his heart to the Lord is followed by a prayer. So just listen to David's prayer. He says this, let me experience your faithful love for I trust in you. Reveal to me the way I should go because I appeal to you. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord. I come to you for protection. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your gracious spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, Lord, let me live. Friends, when you are in a place like David was, and you just don't know what to pray or how to pray, pray like David. For that matter, if you're good, if you're energized, and you're ready to face the day, This is still a great template for us to pray. Now remember, Practicing the Practices is an experiential podcast. We're going to practice praying the Psalms just like David did. So let's turn off the noise. Take a deep breath. God is with you. First, David opens his prayer by trusting in God's faithful love. 
right where you are, declare your trust in God's character. Rest your hope on His faithfulness, His goodness, and His promises. Name something specific. Go ahead right where you're at and just declare your trust in God's goodness and His character. After declaring his trust in who God is, David says, reveal to me the way I should go. Right now, ask the Lord to examine or reveal the condition of your heart in this moment. Pray something like this, Father, show me what I need to see in who you are and show me what I need to see in myself today. Show me your path, show me your will, Open my eyes to see as you do. Go ahead. Then David prays, rescue me from my enemies, Lord. I come to you for protection. Confess your need for God's mercy and grace in your life. Remember this great promise that His mercies are new every morning. What do you need to be rescued from? What temptation or situation or trial? Go ahead, pray for rescue right now. David prays, teach me to do your will. Ask for wisdom to think and live like Jesus when you pray. Let God's word and the life of Jesus be your guide. Right now, ask the one with infinite wisdom to teach you how to live, how to navigate what you're facing. David prays, may your gracious spirit lead me on level ground. In this moment, submit your intellect and your ambition to your heavenly father. Give your day to the Lord. Ask for faith and courage to follow wherever he may lead. David is asking God to make his footing sure. He wants the anxiety to be gone. He wants the worry to be gone. He wants to see as God sees to be on level footing. So go ahead, do the same. Ask the Spirit of God to lead you. Finally, David concludes with these words. For your name's sake, Lord, let me live. David's acknowledging the majesty and wonder of God's glory. He's tapping into God's true motivation. So rest in knowing that what motivates your father is not your good or your potential, but his glory. So go ahead, trust in the Lord, give him praise, Right in this moment, put all of your hopes and dreams in his hands, knowing he is for your good and for his glory. There you go. You just found a way to pray when you don't know how to pray or what to pray. You can find this outline in the episode description. Feel free to bookmark this episode. Come back to it if you need to. It's a great template to pray. Hey, thanks for listening and practicing with us. To make sure you receive future episodes of Practicing the Practices, 
Make sure you subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Until next time, this is Brad, and I'm praying for grace and peace upon your life today. Thank you.